Hey guys, Patrick Rowe, TFB TV, and we're back out here on the show floor with uh, Dimitri with Arsenal Firearms USA. And we have in front of us uh, the Strike B. And uh, we saw this last year, it was a firing prototype, and it looks like you guys have made a ton of really cool upgrades. It looks beautiful now. Thank you. Um, so the, the slide is different, the serrations are different, we have uh, exchangeable sides, of course. Uh, uh, the, Trigger is different. Uh, the floor plate is different. I mean, it, it, basically, it's a new gun. New gun. But also, inside you have uh, a lot of changes. Yeah, yeah. We, I saw you taking it apart earlier, and I noticed some of those changes. And, uh, yeah. So this is the uh, recoil mechanism. You cannot even call it spring anymore. No, no. I mean, <laughs> that's, 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 uh, it's more of an assembly. Yes, it's assembly. So it, it, it carries the same locking system as, as a Strike 1. Okay. Uh, it, we have some changes in the sear. Yeah, I see that. And, uh, and the trigger pull is a little bit smoother as well. Yes, it's, much, it's mu much smoother. Uh, yeah, no, the, uh, the stippling on here is pretty aggressive, but it's yeah. not so aggressive yeah, that no, I would feel it, bad it, about it, carrying concealed. You know, you know we have... Uh, uh, to be uh, correct about that, we have uh, two stages of aggressiveness. Okay. So we have two modes. Oh. You know, because uh, for example, law enforcement guys, they require very aggressive uh, uh, frame. Yes. And they, they are asking specifically, and also they, they, they want uh, the uh, back stri uh, backstrips uh, exchangeable. Yeah, yeah. So we so we have our second mode will be very aggressive. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I don't know if you, you can call it correctly stippling. Is it stippling or not? Um, well, I mean, stippling, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever uh, it is. checkering. Yeah, yeah, checkering. Yeah, I would, I would say checkering. And with, with exchangeable backstreet. Yeah, no, that'll be interesting, yeah. for sure. I know that people like that configurability. And um, so, I, yeah, I've noticed that there's uh, quite a few changes to it, and it looks like it's going to be a really solid gun. Uh, what are you guys targeting for MSRP on it? Uh, 789. That's part. pretty reasonable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, the, the, basically you, you have a gun which normally you pay uh, $1,500 to sell, sell it. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. And so I know that the, trigger, very, uh, the trigger, if you, if you check yourself, reset. Here. I like the reset on that. The reset, like... Uh, the, not, I, not like Strike 1. I, I, own, I own a uh, Strike 1, the first iteration of this gun. And the reset was a little bit ambiguous, but yeah, this, that is that is so crisp. It's short and crisp. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing these out in the stores and uh, on the shelf. Hopefully, you'll, you come tonight to the party. Oh, would I you? Would be, oh yeah. So yeah then, for you, sure. then you can shoot the gun. You know what? I'd be wrong to say no. <laughs> uh, it's on record, don't, right? Don't, don't, be there. Don't, don't forget to don't forget to to take the, the, the invitations. Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, and then this will be shipping, uh, you have a target date in, in June? Okay, very good. So uh, they'll be on in stores in June. Uh, you might want to keep an eye out for them because I think that uh, after shooting the original one, if they've improved on it, it's going to be something awesome. So I appreciate it, Jimmy. Thank Treat. you. Have a good show. All right, stay tuned for continuing shot coverage and uh, bringing more cool stuff like the Strike B.